archaeologist Sturt Manning and colleagues have revealed variations in the radiocarbon cycle at certain periods of time, affecting frequently cited standards used in archaeological and historical research relevant to the southern Levant region, Israel, southern Jordan and Egypt. These variations, or offsets, of up to 20 years in the calibration of precise radiocarbon dating could be related to climatic conditions. Manning the Goldwyn Smith Professor of Classical Archaeology in the Department of Classics and Director of the Cornell Tree Ring Laboratory, is the lead author of Fluctuating Radiocarbon Offsets Observed in the Southern Levant and Implications for Archaeological Chronology Debates, published May 29 in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Pre-modern radiocarbon chronologies rely on standardized northern and southern hemisphere calibration curves to obtain calendar dates from organic material. The current Northern Hemisphere standard is INCAL 13, published in 2013. These standard calibration curves assume that at any given time radiocarbon levels are similar and stable everywhere across each hemisphere. The Cornell-led team had questions and suspicions. We went looking to test the assumption behind the whole field of radiocarbon dating, Manning said. We know from atmospheric measurements over the last 50 years that radiocarbon levels vary through the year and we also know that plants typically grow at different times in different parts of the northern hemisphere. So we wondered whether the radiocarbon levels relevant to dating organic material might also vary for different areas and whether this might affect archaeological dating. Some research has suggested there might be regional differences in radiocarbon levels, and hence problems for the standard model, he said. We set out to see if we could observe such differences over time, and whether they were relevant to archaeological dating. If the existing assumed dates were to change, then you might discover a more complicated story, which is what we found. 